Platelet results are crucial in the interphase of thrombosis and inflammation. Re-examination under the microscope is required for accurate PLT counting. A falsely low result may cause unnecessary blood transfusion and a falsely high one may cause missed diagnosis. Is there any way to simplify these tedious procedures? Optical and fluorescent PLT is a good solution. But can we get a reliable PLT result in a more cost-effective way? Let's see how MindRay BC700 series hematology analyzers can help. First, we have to understand what interferes with PLT counting. The RBCs and PLTs pass through the aperture one by one and generate the volume distribution of cells in impedance method. When microsites, fragmented RBCs, and giant PLTs are present in the sample, is the PLTI value totally unreliable? The smallest volume of the RBC fragment is normally above 10 femtroliter. Here is the histogram of a normal sample. The presence of RBC fragments whose volume is normally above 10 femtroliter does not interfere with PLTs with a volume smaller than 10 femtroliter under the impedance method. Therefore, small PLTs are not interfered in the impedance channel. How can we measure the PLT larger than 10 femtroliter in MindRay BC700 series? With the help of LD lysis, all RBCs are lysed. In the diff channel, all lysed RBCs and PLTs are located in the ghost area, but we seldom pay attention to it. According to our studies, all lysed RBCs are smaller than 7.5 femtroliter in volume. To conclude, we can trust results from the diff channel for PLTs larger than 10 femtroliter, and those from the impedance channel for PLTs smaller than 10 femtroliter. MindRay BC700 series gives you optical PLT in every CBC plus diff test.